Prince Harry is sorting issues with the Queen amid his return to the UK. After months since the final brief engagement of royals, Prince Harry is about to set his foot in the British soil to meet Queen Elizabeth II. News broke that the royal staff was alerted to prepare the Frogmore cottage for the arrival of the 36-year-old prince. However, it is still uncertain whether his wife would join him for the upcoming visit. Staff at Windsor have been told to prepare for the possibility Harry could come back. They are told that it could be within weeks, but Meghan's name was not mentioned, a source told the Daily Mail. Prince Harry said to have some serious talks with the Queen. Moreover, the publication also added the 94-year-old monarch, who is still at her HMS bubble, will meet the Duke of Sussex to discuss issues involving the Sussex statements with the upcoming U.S. presidential election, as well as his visa situation in America. There are all sorts of issues to speak about, not only his political statements, but also his visa situation in the U.S. Even though he would have to isolate for two weeks, the, state is, the estate is large enough for talks in a socially distanced way. The source added, A few weeks ago, the Sussex received a wave of backlash from royal experts and fellow Britons after their controversial speech during Time's list of the world's 100 most influential people. At the time, the former Swiss star encouraged the public to make, buy, to make a buy exercise their right to vote. Prince Harry also shared the same stance as his wife and urged the citizens to reject hate speech, misinformation, and online negativity. Damage beyond repair. Unfortunately, some were dismayed how the runaway warriors are too vocal about their political opinions. This includes their number one critics, Piers Morgan. In one episode of his show, Good Morning Britain, the 55-year-old presenter called out the unacceptable behavior of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to the royal family. Moreover, he also aimed at the former warriors as he points out that the two have crossed the line and must face serious consequences. By expressing themselves in such a brazenly partisan manner, they have crossed a massive line which should now have serious consequences for the couple who specialize in wanting the royal cake and the freedom to eat it. He wrote in a column for the Daily Mail. Aside from Morgan, royal author Penny Juror mentioned in his The Mirror article that with the controversy that the successes have caused, the couple has burned significant bridges that are beyond repair.